Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn master slave architecture in Hadoop. Suppose we have a Hadoop cluster of 1000 nodes and let us say out of which three nodes would be predominantly be operating in a master mode that is the name node, secondary name node and the job tracker. The remaining 1000 minus 3 that is your 997 machines are going to be working in the slave mode and they are going to be the data nodes. We should note that the machine which is working in a slow node is your data nodes and the machine which is working in the master node which will be your name node, secondary name node and the job tracker. However, they actually vary slightly in terms of their hardware configuration. For example, the name node, the secondary name node and the, draw, and the job tracker need not have a very high hard drive storage space. Whereas your data nodes will be very high in terms of your hard drive storage space because they're the ones which actually is going to bear all the data loads in terms of all your big data storage is going to happen on these data nodes which is going to bear the bulk of the data operation. It is also important to understand the host operating system or native operating system would be installed on all these machines both which is working as data node is in slave mode as well as the machines in master mode. The native operating system which in 90% of the time it is going to be a Linux based operating system and in some cases we do have Windows based operating system which is installed on this machine. It is on this native operating system that Hadoop as a piece of software framework is going to be installed. We should note that Hadoop would be installed on all these machines on name node, secondary name node, job tracker as well as each one of these data nodes. And the differentiating factor between the master mode and the machines in the slave mode is that it is the software configuration. After installing Hadoop, which would enable each of these machines to actually perform responsibility associated with that of a name node and that of a secondary name node and that of a job tracker. So friends, if you like my video, kindly like it share it and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching this youtube video thank you thanks a lot